I've worked with the inventor Dean Kamen many times. He's asked me to make short films about many of his visions and projects, like his Segway, which at the time was called Ginger, and particularly his uh, enterprise for young students called First Robotics. And I I guess I'm lucky because over the years of having worked with him on these short pieces, we've become friends and there's a trust that's been built up. And when he told me that he was working on the world's water crisis and inventing a technology that could clean any form of contaminated water, I, I actually had the thought that this might be the most important thing he ever takes on. And it became imperative to me to see if he would be willing to capture the story of the development of that technology. Most often you see technology at the end of the story. You get the iPhone, not the original cell phone. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to see what it takes to go from an idea in his head to reality. And luckily, that, I think that's what transpired. He says in the movie that innovation is a difficult, frustrating process. And I think what he means is that the world is very slow to embrace change. The world's very slow to grab onto things that are new and different. Uh, it, it, it never happens by magic. It just seems that way because after 20 years, you're an overnight success. And Dean uses that language all the time. It's, it's one of the funniest things he says. Yeah, after 20 years, we're going to be an overnight success. Because that's what it usually takes, about 20 years before everybody recognizes that you did something. You know, we didn't go from big, huge mainframe computers to personal computers overnight. It was a huge process. We didn't go from uh, those brick cell phones to the iPhone overnight. It took 30 years. And everything takes this gigantic, making a movie took seven years. So yeah, it's frustrating, but worth it. We believe that, that getting clean water to people all over the world is, is a fundamental and important and you know, I mean, what, the quote that water is the stuff of life, it, it sounds a little fatuous, but it really is, it, it, like Dean says at one point, I didn't, didn't make the movie, you can live without oil, but you can't live without water. And that kind of, for me, puts it into perspective. People cannot live without clean water. They, they literally die, and, or they get sick. And so it just seemed to me that when you compare that with all of his other incredibly brilliant but niche uh, inventions. An arm for a, an amputee is still not as ubiquitous as water. A kidney dialysis only affects a certain very large but not, not billions of people like water. It just felt like the biggest thing he was ever going to do and therefore became the focus of the movie. And the, and the other hard part was how do you make a story about a crisis that's worth watching, that, that empowers people, that gets people excited about doing something instead of giving up. And that became a, a difficult thing to figure out. And, and, and what we found was the more we could focus on the man as well as his inventions, the more it became um, affirmative and positive and hopeful and a solution as opposed to give up. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of documentaries tell you to give up. Uh, editor used to joke with me that they teach you learned helplessness. And I didn't want to do that. I, w I really wanted you to come out of the theater, having seen Slingshot and having been spent 90 minutes with Dean Kamen, wanting to do something, not wanting to give up.